Chris 6 News at noon continues. Well, good noon time, everybody. Uh, sure does feel like winter time. Uh, and as I've said, we just miss fall. And I don't know if we're going to see fall at all. Uh, we are looking at a rather wet map for um, the next five, maybe even seven to eight days. As you can see right about here, the old frontal system that came through brought us the cold weather. Well, it's beginning to fall apart. And that means that the Gulf air is going to start blowing back in. So this uh, line of moisture and showers that's out in the Gulf is going to be returning as soon as tomorrow. So our chances for rain is going to be on the increase tomorrow. In addition, we have that big plume of tropical moisture that's sliding over North Texas. This is more bad news because this area got a rain, uh, seven to 10 inches of rain over the last three or four days. And all of those rivers, in fact, all of the lakes in the highland in the hill country are closed. Everybody's supposed to stay away. In fact, if you have family or interests up there, just check on them to see if they're okay because uh, this moisture has just been copious, and if you'll remember, last week, I think it was Friday, we had a tropical storm that came in from the Pacific over that area as well. So everything's sort of piling up on top of Texas. Today, we have this area of low pressure, and that's sort of speeding everything up, and this will be the lifting mechanism that will enhance our thunder shower possibility over the next 24 hours. There you see the little showers that came in. Uh, didn't get much rainfall, but it is a little damp out there. And the thing is, the main event is going to be Thursday night into Friday. So as you can see, here's the light stuff. Here's the tropical moisture that's in the Gulf rolling back toward us, but that's not till tomorrow. This is going to uh, become a problem for this area of the world, and then it's going to start driving through much of Texas with another surge of moisture. Now, uh, for those of you in Bluntser, you know that the uh, Nueces River is out of its banks below the dam because they're having to release water. Now with all the rain in the hill country, a lot of that's going to go down to the Nueces. So next week, we're still going to be bringing in water to the reservoir. Uh, so they're probably going to continue releasing water in order to, we don't want to stress the dam. So uh, let's just say um, you might be growing web feet, if you, if you know what I mean, wear some good galoshes. Now here is the uh, area of the hill country that's really had trouble. Uh, this activity uh, has uh, really flooded out most of the great Le of the uh, Highland Lakes, and that thunder shower activity is going to be more of a problem when this area starts moving across this very moist field. So, basically, the strength of this jet and the strength of this low are going to make it uh, a very uh, unsettled weather pattern for the next couple of days. Here's Future Tracker. The next 48 hours, you can see how that Gulf moisture rolls back in, gives us the rain for Thursday. You can see the big plume of, uh, that's a bullseye in North Texas, and a lot of that's going to go down to Guadalupe, the Brazos of Colorado, and then eventually uh, also get into the Nueces and the Frio as well. So here's your forecast. Today we're going to call it just light rain. Tomorrow night, Thursday night, is when I expect thunderstorms to begin to develop, which will last through most of Friday. Then we'll get light rain on Saturday and then a little bit of clearing, but then there's more rain on the other side of that one too. So pretty busy weather map for just October. 